What has the last four months been like for you? It's been wild, hectic, but quite an unbelievably exciting and fun last few months. Was there ever a time that you questioned what you were doing, or was it full speed ahead the whole time? No, it was full speed ahead. Um, you know, for years we've been talking about what we wanted to accomplish in the sport and what we wanted to leave as a legacy. Um, so, never, never did I ever doubt any of our our actions in any way. And I think it's it's awesome. It just speaks to our group and how powerful of a message that we had that everybody was able to sort of rally around us and help us get what we needed. Yeah, internally, people might not know, how long was this whole plan in the works? Uh, we were actually in negotiations for over a year. Okay. So it, it wasn't sort of an overnight thing. Granted, timing and leverage needed to be applied for an overnight thing uh, just to put world championships on the line. And then, mind you, no big deal, but we had to go win world championships as well. So it just speaks to our group and the, the tenacity that that group has and the passion and just the will to compete. Now, the whole Be Bold for Change, you know, following the hashtag. If you follow the hashtag right now on Twitter, you see some amazing things. What was it like seeing all of the messages come through, especially you as such a big influencer, seeing everything come through? It was great. It was really heartfelt, to be honest. Um, we knew that we were going to get uh, a lot of traction. I, I don't think I imagined we'd get that much traction. So it was, it was truly something when we had people outside of sport weighing in, and also our male counterparts in the NHL and you know, different leagues, different sports. It was, it was a dream come true if you're trying to start a movement. Yeah. In terms of the NHL players, who in particular maybe reached out to you, or who were you impressed with with the way that they supported you guys? Oh boy. There's a handful of them. <laughs> um, you know, I, I mean, I have to give a shout out to our, our Wisconsin Badger guys. It, they're just such a phenomenal group of, uh, you know, men that they helped out a lot. Um, and you know, I got to see a few of them a few weeks ago, and I went back to Madison. But it, it was great to have that resounding support. Uh, in terms of when you walked, when you were in Plymouth, or when you walked down the street, and girls, female girls hockey players see you, what do they say now? Um, well, I, I get a lot of thank yous, <laughs> and it, it, it's great, um, you know, I'm glad that they appreciate it, but it's something that was definitely necessary. Um, you know, we, we waited too long to actually do it, I would much rather it happen sooner than later. But to be able to be one of these pioneers to continue to build on Cammy's shoulders and Angela's shoulders and really leave another legacy moment within our sport and leave it better off than we found it is something that, you know, when the time comes we can sort of walk away and say that we, we did a good thing. And where do you go from here with that? Oh boy. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> In terms of, you know, this is, you're, obviously the NWHL is, a, is becoming a bigger deal right now. You know, how do you get to a, a point where you're comfortable with where you leave women's hockey one day? You're going to play for a while still, yeah. but one day when you retire. You know, I, I absolutely have loved my career path and everything that I've done personally, but I, uh, it was tough. It was tough to get to where I am, to have the following that I do have, you know, on social media, but all the fans out there, which I greatly appreciate. But I would love to have a template so, you know, the next girl that grows up doesn't have to go through a lot of the hardships that we've faced um, sort of in our generation. And I know previous generations did that for us. So it's continuing to move the wheel forward and, you know, try and, try and leave a better foundation than when you came in.